times table is something we see and use at preschool and then forget for the rest of our lives. But I believe that it is highly underrated because it hides so many beautiful patterns that it is impossible to be silent about them. Let's start off by considering smaller squares inside our table. In this case, it turns out that the products of diagonal elements are equal, regardless of the size and position. If such a square happens to be symmetric in the main diagonal, the sum of all elements is itself a square. For squares with sides parallel to diagonals, not products, but the sums of diagonal elements are equal. It's a fun and relatively easy exercise to prove all of this, so let us dive a bit deeper. If the center of a square happens to be another cell of our times table, its entry is the average of diagonal elements. It even works when the squares are slant, like this. And this observation gives us a recipe for finding the grand total of all numbers inside any shape with central symmetry. We simply multiply the central number by the number of elements in our shape. In this way, calculating the sum of all elements in our table is also trivial. If that wasn't enough, consider these corners. Summing all numbers in each corner gives us consecutive cubes which is a wonderful demonstration of this famous equality. Now a little question for you. Look at numbers from these diagonals. Do you recognize them? Leave your version in the comments below.